Chavo Guerrero Jr. Allow me to beg your indulgence for one moment. This is the former intellectual savior of the masses, Damian Sandow. I am WWE Superstar Cedric Alexander, and I would like to tell you all that you are watching the hottest, hottest E-Fed in the world today. HKW. HKW Wrestling. HKW Wrestling. Wait, did I say the world? I'm in the universe. The galaxy. The multiverse. The, 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 the fabric of time itself. Check it out. Viva la raza. And as always, you're welcome. People, you know who I am. You know my name, but you don't know why I'm here. The boy turned him into a man, showed him all the things that he didn't understand. Whoa. Then I let him go. See, all these fans had to buy a ticket, but I didn't have to buy anything. I come and go where I please. And I'm here because you all wanted a war. And now it's time that we bring the war to you. One, two, three, they gonna run back to me. Cause I'm the best fairy that they never got a key. One, two, three, they gonna run back to me. They always wanna come, but they never wanna leave. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Richard G. Mayer. And get ready, because tonight is HKW. Broken Hearts! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it's for the Triple Crown Internet Championship! We're getting set to go with title action right from the get-go. Social media title about to be on the line. Shut up, Richard! Shut up! It's not your time to talk. It's the cash's time to talk. And it's your time to enjoy the most incredible compilation of superstars ever assembled. Scars Enterprises. Every one of these guys is going to be in action tonight. J-Max is going to be defending that Chaos Championship. Michael Scars Minor going to be winning the World Heavyweight Championship from that loser Daniel Roberts and right now you're about to bear witness to King Dominator oh, I, I'm not gonna disagree with you Mr. Cash all three of these guys are incredibly talented winning championships all over the E-Fed world and now making their way here to the HKW but each one of them has a, a mountain of obstacles in front of them oh, here I, tonight. I don't want to hear it, Richard. I don't want to hear your pessimism, your negativity. Tonight, it's HKW Broken Hearts. It's Donald Cash's night. It's Scars Enterprise's night. And it's your night to just deal with it. Okay, Richard? Alright? Yeah, sit there and pout. Loser. Um, We'll make his way down to the ring now, representing TWE. He is the demented clown known as Zelzbar. Why don't you tell these people what's actually important, Richard? And that's the fact that that Zelzbar is the social media champion. He won that title from Aaron O'Connor when O'Connor was stupid enough to put the title on the line against a TWE superstar. And Richard, let me tell you something. You just better hope that my friends in Scars Enterprises are, are man enough to take the title back and bring it home HKW. Well, I mean, that is kind of the theme of the night, Mr. Cash. Because here tonight, in our main event, the HKW Championship will be on the line in an Elimination Chamber match. The Alpha Angel Brian meet Christopher Chaos, Christian Wright, Despair, Corey Tombstone, and Blake Buchanan all going to be competing 
in that contest. Introducing the challenger from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 253 pounds, King the Dominator. That's it. You've got this, Dominator. You're the man. You're the man. Cash is in your corner. You're really sad, you know that? Shut up, Richard. You don't know what you're talking about. Shut up, Richard. Weighing in at 220 pounds. He is the wild man. You know, I, I, I think Zelzabar is already at a disadvantage. The paint is going to wash into his eyes. He won't even be able to see Dominator. I gotta say, Mr. Cash, even as talented as King Dominator is, I still think Zelzabar has the edge no. going into this matchup. Very unique style of offense that Zelzabar brings to the squared circle. That's going to be on display here tonight. Bell is rung, and our first contest is underway. Are you... Did he make you a balloon animal, Richard? Is that it? Did he make you a little dinosaur or a doggy? Is that why you're you're kissing Zelzabar's butt instead of calling the action right down the middle like I do every time? Look at this. King Dominator dominating all over the HKW social media champion. Referee might as well just hand him the belt right now. What? The match just yes, started on display by Dominator. See, oh that's how you God. call the action evenly, Richard. I just want... Uh. Well, Zelzabar making his way back to his feet, looking for a shot on Dominator, who avoids the contact headbutt to the purple locks of Zelzabar. At least for the moment, you're... Uh, your guy is is in control here, Mr. Cash. Of, of course he is, Richard. King Dominator is 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 a true talent in this industry, okay? I once saw King Dominator pin four men before he ever made it down to the ring. He just looked down the aisle at them, they all fell over. One on top of another, on top of another, on top of another. And then he took off a baseball cap. He threw it, landed on all four of them, referee counted the three. Uh -huh. That's how amazing King Dominator is. Well, King Dominator kicking out of the pinning combination. Zelzabar taking control. Dominator slipping out the back on Zelzabar off the ropes. Belly belly suplex taking Zelzba off the well dominator for heading up to the top rope. That was beautiful, Richard. You could learn a thing from King Dominator. Maybe if you spent some time watching all the amazing King Dominator footage that's out there, then you then you would be talented enough to step inside the ring. Maybe maybe you could even get a Scars Enterprises t shirt. Maybe they might let you have one. I mean, they wouldn't let you wear it in public because you're very ugly, but in oh, private, you know, maybe. You're, you're a real asshole, you know that, Mr. Cash? I should have you fined for that, Richard. You better watch your mouth. You need to treat me with respect, just like you need to treat the men of Scars Enterprises with respect. Do you understand me, Richard? Do you understand me? Yeah. I understand you, Mr. Cash. Well, Zelzbar whipping King Dominator across the ring, being confronted by Michael Scars Minor, heading up to the, the top Michael of Dominator, Scars back Minor. into the ring. Elbow into no. the head of King Dominator. You sound way too happy about that, Richard. I think, I think you owe King Dominator an apology as soon as this contest is over, after he is won. You can you can go you can ask for his autograph. I know you've been wanting to do that all night, and you can say I'm sorry for not being a a, a even contributor to the commentary oh. booth. Well, Zosbar heading back inside the ring, goading King Dominator outside. Nice veteran maneuver there on the part of Zelzabar. 
scoops up Dominator <laughs> delivering a pair of snake eyes. Dominator, are you okay? The newest member of Scars Enterprises. I, I might need to go check on King Dominator. That was a completely illegal maneuver on the part of Zelzabar. The referee should be ashamed of himself. What illegal maneuver did Zelzabar, did Zelzabar hit? Snake eyes, Richard. You called it yourself. Everybody knows that snakes are poisonous. And, and poison is, is, is an illegal object. It can, it can uh, weaken you in the ring. And that's just the kind of underhanded tactic that Zelzabar is going to use in this match. But not my buddy King Dominator. The HKW Nation firmly behind King Dominator as he dominates this stupid clown. Yes! Go Dominator! It's over, Richard. It's over. Let's jump right to oh J-Max's match. I want all Scars Enterprises matches tonight. The rest, I, I mean... I guess I kind of want to see that TLC match. Oh, man, that TLC match. Uh, April Mead and Scarlett Jones taking on Dragon Queen and Lenora Len later on tonight. Going to be absolutely fantastic. Zelzabar, Irish whipping King Dominator off the ropes. Look at that offense. Yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. Way. Completely is going to come from. It's wrong, Richard. It's wrong. You shouldn't be encouraging these people to enjoy that kind of, of, of blatantly illegal offense. What are you talking about? Zelzabar's fantastic hey, athlete. Oh, getting a little worried there. King Dominator kicking out at two. Zelzabar with the near fall heads up to the middle rope. Elbow into the face of King Dominator as Michael Scars, Minor, and Great J Max look on. I believe you mean the great Michael Minor and the incredible Joshua Maximinius. Say their names with the proper respect, Richard. They're better than you. Just like King Dominator is better than this than this TWE scum, this clown known as Zelzabar. And that's why King Dominator is going to win bigly in this matchup. Zelzabar trying to crawl back to his feet. Here comes King Dominator. Not letting up on the offense. Big knee. Into the face of Zelzabar and a double leg takedown. Puts the clown on his back. King Dominator getting in position. Say good night, you stupid clown. It's over, Richard. Just like that. An absolute home run for King Dominator. Wicked kick and a wicked throw by King Dominator follows it up with a big kick to the gut Dominator yo Zelzabar turn things around arm drag takedown to King Dominator rolls through and Zelzabar diving on top with a Luthes press raining hey. right hands down into the face of the challenger hey, hey, Richard do you, do you have some water I think I think I think King Dominator needs some water. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take him some water, let him refresh a little bit before he continues on in this contest. N no, you're gonna sit right here with me and continue to watch this, this incredible matchup. King Dominator challenging Zelzabar here tonight for the HKW Social Media Championship. Our opening contest here tonight. An HKW broken heart. Oh, no. Zelzabar coming up from behind. Oh. Shot to the gut on Dominator. And close the lines. Dominator Re over the Richard, top Richard, this is all your fault. This is all your fault, Richard. What? I should be down there encouraging Whoa! King Dominator. And instead, 
Instead, did you see what he just did? I think we all saw what he just this did. This isn't good, Richard. This is incredible. J-Max, J-Max, help Dominator. Zelzabar tossing Dominator back inside the ring. Kick to the back of the ribs. Dominator rolling to his feet. Front face lock by King Dominator. <gasps> and muscle Zelzabar over. Never doubted it for a second, Richard. This young man, King Dominator, he, he, he's he got this. He can do it. And look at that tombstone lung blower by Very King impressive. Dominator. Agreed. My close Dominated. personal friend. Oh! Well, Dominator living up to his name, at least for the moment. Flipping Zelzbar. Oh, and just picking him up and delivering another Dominator. To the HKW social media champion. You see me at a loss for words, Richard. But I can't say is I'm surprised. You you don't have all the brains that I do. I'm a very stable genius. Zelzabar rolling out to the floor, caught by King Dominator using another cheaty flippy movie. And, 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 and trying to screw over a, a much more talented competitor in King Dominator. Zelzabar has been wrestling a fantastic match. And now Michael Scars Minor. Brilliant. Coming over here, distracting the attention of Zelzabar. Oh! It's not about distracting. Minor's doing Dominator the Dominator taking advantage, launching Zelzabar. Into those steel steps. Chris now and Taylor out on the floor to the HKW social media champion Zelzabar. Michael Skies Miner just did the right thing. The thing the referee wasn't willing to do. And that is confront this this bully Zelzabar. And all of his shenanigans, his little carnival tricks, and now King Dominator is going to put away Zazabar. One, two, and bottom rope! No! Zazabar's got the bottom rope! Incredible ring positioning awareness on the part of the Dark Clown and the current social media champion, Zazabar. It doesn't matter, Richard. King Dominator doing exactly what he does best. He's going to keep you know, persevering, working through all of the, of the issues. Oh, no. And power! Because this man and this man alone has the, is the future of the social Cover now by division. Dominator 2. That is it. King Dominator... Not alone at all. Quite a bit of help from no. from Michael Miner and J Max no. out on no, no, the no. floor. Nevertheless, there was encouragement. Ladies Richard. and gentlemen, your new HKW social media champion, King Dominator, and the referee the belt. That's that's Dominator's belt. Dominator did an incredible job in this matchup. He did it all by himself. No help from Michael Scars, Minor, or J Max, no matter what Richard Mayer might say. Congratulations to my close personal friend, King Dominator. And we got more HKW on the way. Broken hearts, baby. Woo! And as you see, 
on his way down to the ring. Getting ready to contend tonight for the HKW United States Championship. Ian King! Can't wait for this match. It's going to be a great contest, Richard. Ian King, you know he's undefeated, right? Currently 8-0 here in the HKW. He's been doing a fantastic job. And, and that's why I recommended him for the HKW Wasteland Tournament, Richard. Well, I, I don't disagree with you at all, Mr. Cash. The innovator of Scottish Strong Style, Ian King, has absolutely been on a roll ever since making his way here to the HKW. I am very interested to hear more about the King of the Wasteland Tournament coming up next month right here on Pay-Per-View March 15th. You are not going to want to miss the King of the Wasteland Tournament. Boo! You suck. Richard, Richard, I have to tell you something. I don't like this guy. Aaron O'Connor, he, he, I don't know if you've heard, he has this little show over on Wednesday nights called Prestige that he, he believes is better than my amazing show, Rampage, every Friday night. And personally, I think you know that Rampage is a much awesomer show. And I leave it up to you, the HKW Nation, to go ahead and let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. What show do you like better? Is it Rampage or is, is it Prestige? And if you haven't seen either of these shows, then I encourage you to do what Richard hasn't told you to do yet. Slam down and subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications and watch each and every Wednesday and Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern uh, Standard Time for HKW Action. How is that, Richard? Oh, well, I mean, <laughs> I'm, you got all the information correct, but I also noticed that you just managed to talk to Aaron O'Connor's entire entrance. He is the HKW United States Champion. I'm not listening to you. I'm not listening to a word you have to say, Richard. Hey, look! On his way down to the ring, he is a former United States Champion, a former Internet Champion, absolutely incredible athlete, Rock Leone. And and Richard, I'm gonna go ahead and and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make another one of my predictions. You know, I'm ready at these. I'm gonna say that Rock Leone wins right here tonight. Wow. That's okay. back what dude, it was so egregiously uh, Don't know that word, screwed yeah. out of. And that's the United States Championship, Richard. I'm, I'm guessing egregiously was your uh, your word on your word of the day toilet paper there today. <laughs> well, Rock Leone in the ring. Aaron O'Connor set to defend and Ian King ready to get his shot at his first piece of HKW hardware here. Um, let me ask you something, Mr. Cash. How do you think the undefeated record of Ian King is going to come into play here tonight in this triple threat match? I don't think it's going to matter at all, Richard, and I'll tell you why. Because every contest that Ian King has had, he's been in one-on-one -on -one competition. He's only faced off against single superstars. And now he has to have eyes in the back of his head. Now, Very I true. have no doubt that if Ian King was to face off against Aaron O'Connor, no matter how elite O'Connor thinks he is, that Ian King would probably win with both arms tied behind his back, wearing a blindfold, oh, half asleep, and with a fever of 102. But Tell that's just because Aaron O'Connor sucks. Rock uh, Leone, uh, on the other hand, is an incredible athlete. He has held multiple championships. He's last year's match of the year winner. And he's being Irish whipped into the corner courtesy 
of Aaron O'Connor. Big knife edge chop from the Destroyer as the innovator of Scottish Strong Style tries to get back to his feet. O'Connor with a knee to the back of Leon. Leon rolling out to the floor. O'Connor and Ian King back to their feet. Ian King with a suplex. I love it, Richard. Anytime that I can see that bald buffoon, Aaron O'Connor, take a beating. It's it's a personal it's a personal bit of joy for me, Richard. Nice move there, Mr. King. And Raclion coming in with a Russian leg sweep. As a matter of fact, it's no longer going to be called a Russian leg sweep. I bought it. What? And now it is a cash leg sweep. Um. No one is going to call it a cash leg sweep, Mr. Cash. Oh, you better. Because if you don't, I'm going to fire you. I'm going to fire your mom. I'm going to fire your dad, your brothers, your sisters, your, your aunts, uncles, and your wife. And they don't work for you, Mr. Cash. Everybody works for me. You work for me. You just don't know it. Shot to the midsection by Rock Leone on Aaron O'Connor. Ian King trying to come up from behind. Rock Leone shots to the back of the quad and a clothesline running over the innovator of Scottish Strong Style. O'Connor trying to keep some distance between him and Leone. With Del Richard, Aaron O'Connor is afraid of Rack Leone. He knows that Rack Leone is going to take back the uh, United States Championship right here tonight. And he knows that because I called it, Richard. I said that Rack Leone is going to be victorious right here tonight and that means that you can take it to the bank Richard you know this and I know this well I'm I'm not certain that Ian King knows this Ian King big white hand wrapped around the throat of Aaron O'Connor important to remember in these triple threat matches there is no disqualification no count out Rock Leone muscling Ian King down to his knee. King shots to the midsection on Leone. And now forearm shot to Leone and a kick to the midsection. Leone diving over the top of Ian King. Here comes Aaron O'Connor. Richard. Richard, did you ever have a pog collection? I just. Pogs. I mean, anything's really t better than talking about. Aaron O'Connor and whatever he's doing inside yeah. the ring right now, nobody cares. Uh, Rock Leone is already the kicked out. You don't even need to watch this. See, I told you. I, I, look, I get it. I get that you're not a fan of Aaron O'Connor, Mr. Cash, but the fact is, is O'Connor has had quite the run ever since coming to the HKW, a former HKW social media champion. Member of the EFED Elite, the commissioner of HKW Wednesday Night Prestige, and of course your current United States Champion, Ian Member of Skies Enterprises, doesn't matter. As O'Connor up, and oh! And nice move by Ian down King. hard. It that is a nice King. move. O'Connor, O'Connor, uh, he, he didn't actually kick out their ref. You counted too slow. This referee, he doesn't know what he's doing. If this was, if this was on Rampage, O'Connor would have already lost. But that would mean that Ian King was the winner, so he'd be wrong. I'm never wrong. Drop kick into the face of Ian King by HKW United States Champion Aaron O'Connor, looking for the cover, and here comes Rock Leone. Breaking up the pinfall attempt and gonna get a spine buster shaking the arena here tonight. Trying to get him far enough away from the ropes 
to go for a pinfall is O'Connor. That's going to give Leon enough time to recover. Rock Leon kicked out because he heard that Donald Cash is in his corner tonight. That I have picked him to win the United States Championship. There we go. O'Connor over the top rope. It's all Rock Leon. He's going to take out Ian King right now. This is over, Richard. Rock Leon bringing in King down to a knee. King back up to his feet. Shot to the midsection of Rock Leon. Looking for a right hand, but Leon answering with a big right of his own. Ian King standing switch and tosses Leon over the top rope. Needs to get him back inside the ring. He can't win outside the ring, Richard. Smart move on the part of Ian King. He can't win outside. And a big vertical suplex brings Rock Leon back inside. And it's up to Aaron O'Connor to break up the pinfall. I hope you're happy, O'Connor. You just ruined Ian King's dreams of being the new United States champion. Whoa! Well done. That was a beautiful Death Valley driver by Rock Leon. And okay, quite frankly, time. I think that Aaron O'Connor deserves like four or five more of those. Ian King all over Rock Leon. Oh Ooh. my gosh! Big right hand from Ian King into the face of Leon. And now King, high angle vertical suplex, bringing O'Connor back inside the ring. The destroyer is getting destroyed, Richard. That's that's all there is to say about it. And he's got O'Connor up. King is fantastic. He's Canadian destroyer to Aaron O'Connor. Nice move. Cover by Ian One, King. Two. two. Oh, O'Connor just barely able to escape the Canadian destroyer by Ian King. Oh, there goes Ralph now King. What right hand in the face of O'Connor? Another one for Leon. Ian King's okay. got him, Richard. Arms are this is it. all hooked. He's got him up. Oh, it's just like I predicted right at the beginning of this match, Richard. One. Two, three, oh my God! Still undefeated, and your new United States champion, just like I said he would be. I am in shock right now. Congratulations, indeed, to Ian King. Putting away Aaron O'Connor and Rock Leone here tonight. Extending his winning streak to 9-0. And, oh, and ladies and gentlemen, he is your new HKW United States Champion, Ian King. King. He did it, Richard. I knew he would do it right from the start. He was my pick. Of course, you know that. And hey, Richard, are you ready? Because it's time to bust out some tables, some ladders, and some chairs for tag team action. TLC match is coming up next. That's right. TLC action. TWE versus HKW. Next. When's the, I, I can never well, get it with the audience. Uh, yeah, well, you never you never seem to be in sync with the audience, Mr. Cash. Heading down to the ring at this time, representing the EFED Elite. She is the longest reigning HKW Women's Champion in HKW history, coming in at 298 days. She is... The Queen of the Valkyries, April Mead. I, I don't like this, Richard. I have a, I have a bad feeling 
I mean, April Mead and and Scarlett Jones, they're used to fighting against each other. They're, they're used to competing one on one in competition. And tonight, somehow, they have to work together. They're supposed to represent the HKW against TW. Richard, how are they going to do that? I don't know. Well, they're gonna. Yes, I don't listen. know. How can you know? Uh, of course. On her way down to the ring, she is the HKW Undisputed Champion, Scarlett Jones. And as the women's champion makes her way inside the ring, I want to call your attention to the tables and ladders that are scattered all around ringside. The only way to win this contest is going to be able to climb the ladder and bring down the briefcase. It's going to be violent, that's for sure, Richard. There they are representing Team TWE. This invading force here on HKW, Lenore Len and the Dragon Queen. Hey Richard, Richard, do you, do you want to know what I heard about the Dragon Queen? Oh, sure, what, what did you hear about the Dragon Queen? She went to the hairdresser and it gave her the blues. That, that was god awful, just so you know. Oh, Dragon Queen Lenore Len in the ring. And man, as, as I see those tables outside, I can't help but think of that image of Lenore Len flying off the top rope with April Mead, putting her through that burning table. What about last week on Friday Night Rampage? April Mead answering Lenore Len's challenges. And, and, and she picked her up. Gorilla Prester through the table on the outside, which it was like nothing I'd ever seen. Well, it's certainly been a wild rivalry between the ladies from HKW and the ladies from TWE. Something I don't expect to change here tonight. Powerbomb by April Meet inside the ring to Lenore Len looking for a possible cutter. Instead, Lenore shoving her off. Nice edge chop by April. But Lenore answering back and reverse DDT followed with a neck breaker as Dragon Queen bringing Scarlett Jones back into the ring. Scarlett Jones has been so impressive in the HKW, Richard. She hasn't even been here that long. She's already the undisputed women's champion. And think about all the other accomplishments that Scarlett Jones has under her belt. She's she's the first ever Femme Fatale Tournament winner. Well, that is all very true, but Dragon Queen is the one in control right now, tripping up the undisputed women's champion, setting her face first down to the mat. Here comes April Mead. And a jawbreaker there to Dragon Queen. Meanwhile, outside, Scarlett Jones bringing in the hardware. Knew it was only a matter of time before the weapons started getting introduced. Whoa! What a move there! Cross body to Dragon Queen, courtesy of the undisputed women's champion, Scarlett Jones. Kick to the midsection by Lenore Lynn, flipping April Mead away and not going to become <laughs> a victim of whatever was, Scarlett had planned. That was genius, Richard. Lenore Lynn knows what she's doing inside the squared circle. She may be TWE. I don't necessarily like that. But she's more than will welcome to show up on Friday Night Rampage anytime and win bigly because she's a smart cookie Richard exactly the opposite of you 
Uh, April Mead scampering up the ladder. I'm going to try and bring down that briefcase. Dragon Queen heading up the ladder to meet her shot to the gut of the Queen of the Valkyries. Scarlet Jones pump handle backbreaker to Lenore Len. April Mead now answering back with right hands of her own. The Dragon Queen is now just trying to hang on to the top of that ladder. Very dangerous position for both of these ladies. And Scarlett Jones going to bring Dragon Queen down off the ladder. April still trying to shake out the cobwebs. It's so dangerous up there, Richard. I mean... Have you ever fell down carrying a briefcase? I, you probably don't carry a lot of briefcases. I do with important documents. But trying to, to bring a briefcase down off the top of the ladder, that's crazy, Richard. That, that's beyond any normal human being. Lenore West Powerbomb to April Mead. April going to roll out to the floor. And now Scarlett Jones all alone with two of TWE's finest. Lenore Len and Dragon Queen. Dragon Queen grabbing a hold of the chair. Oh! What a shot to the back of the head of Scarlett Jones. Richard, I've always said that Scarlett Jones was a smart cookie but after that chair shot she's gonna have about as much intelligence left as as Daniel Roberts if you know what I mean you, do you mean she's gonna know a lot of Doctor Who trivia Scarlett Jones up to the top of the ladder April Mead coming from behind and April with a power bomb to the Dragon Queen and now it is Scarlett Jones going to try and bring down the briefcase Lenore Len back into the ring and here comes Lenore coming up behind Scarlett Jones but April right there good move by April Scarlett in. slipping a little bit uh -oh. nope heading up to the What's top Scarlett oh. doing oh, oh my god, god. Scarlett Jones Dived off the top of the ladder, Richard. She took out everybody. And now, what's she doing, Richard? I, I don't know. She's got Lenore Len oh on the top on. Through the ladder, Richard. Have you ever seen anything like this before in your life? This is incredible. Lenore Lennon and Scarlett Jones exploding through that ladder from off the top rope. Queen Stunner. A Queen Stunner. Lenore, Lenore she's going to get Scarlett the Scarlett Jones. Lenore Lynn up the ladder now. No. Scarlett oh, Lynn. Power bomb! This is amazing, Richard. This is like nothing I've ever seen before in my life. And we're just getting started. We still got World Heavyweight Championships and Chaos Championships and and Elimination Chambers. Big reversal there by April. Main kick to the midsection. And what's April? She's got Dragon Queen up. Oh, and Dragon Queen brought back down hard. Team HKW. Team HKW could be closing in on a victory here tonight. It's over, Richard. April Sky, she's got the ladder. She's out alone, Richard. All she has to do is get up the ladder. And bring down the briefcase. It is hers for the taking. April's got the briefcase. No! She's getting, no! Oh no! The Norlin from behind. And Dragon Quinn from the front. 
Chest to the midsection. Linole in. Catherine Storm. Oh! No one can do anything about it. Dragon Queen is all alone. She's going to do it. Yes, she's going to do it. Damn it. Richard, this is all your fault. HKW within inches of victory here tonight in this ladder match. You know all about being a few inches short, don't you, Richard? TWE coming into our own house and, and, and beating Team HKW here tonight on pay-per-view. This is... This is just egregious. Oh my god, you're gonna give me a headache tonight. We'll be back with more HKW Broken Hearts here in just a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, it was one month ago, HKW Royal Gauntlet. That man right there, CJ Mundo, was attacked by Corey Tombstone and forced to relinquish the HKW Chaos Championship. Ever he since, has he anyway. has been on a quest to get the gold back. Finally, medically cleared here tonight, yeah. and he is gonna take on J Max. Richie, let me tell you something, okay? It's very admirable that J Max, or excuse me, that CJ Mundo has returned to the HKW, and and I I applaud him for having the guts to get in the ring with a competitor as incredible as Joshua Maximinius. But the fact is, is CJ Mundo, he lost that title because he was too weak. Because he couldn't compete. And J Max is a member of SCARS Enterprises, which automatically makes him a superior athlete. And I don't know if you knew this, Richard, but J Max what? and I, very close friends, I'm we sure. hang out on the weekends. Today is Sunday. So 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 what did you guys do yesterday? We we went to Disney World. It was amazing, Richard. Disneyland actually. It was it was wonderful. I I rode the Matterhorn. Uh, yeah, I'm sure that was a great time. You know, maybe if you weren't such a loser, we'd invite you to come with us and we could dress you up as a princess. You know, I, uh, I, I get dressed up as a princess enough at home with my two little girls. Thank you very much, Mr. Cash. And J-Max yes. with a DDT. What, what did you expect, Richard? J-Max is the HKW Chaos Champion. I don't even know why CJ 
Mwindo is is in this matchup. He has nowhere near the level of talent that will be required in order to achieve victory against a member of Scars Enterprises. Look, already J Max looking for the cover has this in the bag. Uh, not so fast. Kick out at two by CJ Mundo. CJ Mundo has been looking forward to this fight. He's been looking forward to an opportunity to get his hands on on J Max for weeks. We we all saw what happened when these two were, were on the set of the Wasteland uh, commercial. Yes, that that they they CJ got Mundo into it. They were a huge fight. Both men taken into custody. I'm well aware. I'm the one who bailed out J Max. But I, I think CJ Mundo should be taken back to jail. I mean, just look at him. He looks like like a prison rat. Do you do you hang out with a lot of rats or in a lot of prisons? I'm just wondering Shut up, how Richard. you know that. Aren't you supposed to be calling the action in the ring? J Max is doing a wonderful job out there right now, uh, and, and you should be praising him for all of his his accomplishments. And his accolades. He's is won. He's won the Chaos Championship. I think that's incredible. Nice move, J Max. That was incredible. Oh my god. Richard, gosh. Richard, why don't you what? do more moves like that? I'm a commentator. I'm not a wrestler. J Max with a cover and oh! Near that fall was, for J Max no. on the outside. Richard. Richard, this referee, he only knows how to count to two. He counted to two twice. That means he actually counted to four. J-Max is your winner. Let's move on. CJ Mundo shouldn't even be in this matchup anymore. This this is already a, a complete J-Max production. A Scars Enterprises picture. Oh, my God. This is HKW. And, and I'm pretty sure that that's an illegal choke. That CJ Mundo has on J Max right now. That's an STO and J Max elbow into the nose of CJ Mundo fighting his way out of the submission. As if there was ever any doubt he would fight his way out of the submission. It doesn't change the fact that this referee is letting CJ Mundo cheat in there. Every every time I turn around, CJ Mundo is is cheating more. Uh, there, there is literally no way to cheat in this matchup. There is no disqualification. Falls count anywhere. Weapons are encouraged. There is no way to cheat in this match. Anything is allowed. That's what the Chaos Division is all about. And that's exactly why CJ Mundo loves it so damn much. Are you implying that J-Max doesn't love the Chaos Division. He is a very proud Chaos Champion. He's, he has, he wears that belt everywhere. He wears it to the mall. He wears... Oh! Wait, that's King Dominator! Hey, that's King Dominator! What's he doing out here? Oh, no! King Dominator coming out here and attacking CJ Mundo! Did you know anything about this? Wait, no, it, Richard, I am appalled that you would even imply that I would know anything about this. But as you so eloquently mentioned just a moment ago, there is there is nothing illegal about any of this. What about immoral? King Dominator, more than welcome to be out here. There is no disqualification. There is no cheating, Richard. This is 100% legal. And, and you know what? I, I, I think this is great for the HKW. What? Yeah, because King Dominator is out here supporting his friend J Max. I mean, we need more that we need that camaraderie in the locker room, Richard. He's assaulting CJ Mundo is what he's doing. He has no part in this matchup. He has no business being out here right now. He's supporting his friend. Of course, he has business. And now being he's out just here. being uh, double team assaulted 
by Scars Enterprises. Boo hoo, it's his lucky day. CJ Mundo fighting back. By Tossing. Scars Enterprises. Oh. Tossing J Max in those steel steps and again, Dominator coming up from behind. Nailing CJ Mundo. Assisting his teammate, Richard. Let's try and get the verbiage correct, shall we? All that King Dominator is doing out there here tonight is giving a, a, a friendly assist to J-Max. And weren't you just saying how, how incredible of an athlete CJ Mundo is? If he was really that big of a man, he wouldn't care that King Dominator is out there. Ridiculous. CJ Mundo avoiding the attack there from J Max, but J Max, handful of hair. Oh, what does J Max have planned here? He's got Mundo up and. Oh! Mundo! Set hurtling through that table at ringside. That right there is why CJ Mundo is your Chaos Champion. One, two, three. J Max wins. I told you, oh. Richard. I don't, I don't care what you say, Mr. Cash. I want to see these two one on one. I want a straight up one on one between these two. I had no doubt that J-Max was an amazing competitor coming into the night, but there is no reason that he should should have had King Dominator out there helping him to two-on-one CJ Mundo. This is crap. This is greatness personified, Richard. And let me be the first to congratulate my good buddy J-Max on an incredible win. And look at this, J-Max. Sportsmanship so important to J-Max. Helping CJ Mundo back to his feet. Gonna bring him back inside the ring to celebrate with him. Oh, celebrate with him, my ass. Oh, no, J-Max. Oh. Into the title belt. My God. I've seen some souls be friendly. I've seen some feet get loose. I've had some people in my life who know just what it do. I try to look for goodness even when I see bad. I've seen some souls be friendly. I've seen some feet get loose. I've had some people in my life who know just what it do. I try to look for goodness even when I see bad. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting set for our World Heavyweight Championship Contest Triple Threat Match here tonight. And on his way down to the ring, first representing the Brotherhood, he is the Outlaw. So excited for this Richard. And there he is. He is the president of the Brotherhood. Having inside the ring and getting ready to contend here tonight for the World Heavyweight I Championship. I think you mean getting ready to lose here tonight, Richard. Because here tonight there is only one superstar that truly matters. And that is Michael Skies Miner. And, and you've watched all night Scars Enterprises dominating all over the place. You saw it when, when King Dominator 
won the social media championship and just a moment ago when J Max defended the HKW Chaos title and now now that his his two his two underlings have the gold that they so rightfully deserve now Michael Scars Minor is going to claim the gold that is so rightfully his I don't know what makes it so rightfully his as a matter of fact the way that I remember it it was back at New Year's Revolution when Daniel Roberts defeated Michael Scars Minor to become the world heavyweight champion that's not to say that Michael Scars Minor isn't talented at all, but I think that both Outlaw and Minor are going to have a real test in front of them here tonight when it comes to taking on the British badass Daniel Roberts. No, Richard, I've worked, I've worked with both of these guys, okay? And with Daniel Roberts, he's a solid B-minus player. Michael Scars Minor is an A plus, okay? It's like uh, comparing a Happy Meal to, to Filet Mignon. And tonight, Daniel Roberts is going to find out why he doesn't measure up inside that ring with my personal friend, Michael Scars Minor. Daniel Roberts has come so far in just the one year that he has been here in the HKW, working his way up the ranks and now proudly holds that HKW World Heavyweight Championship. And these fans here tonight couldn't be happier to see the one true knight of the HKW. Oh my God, Sir do that one Daniel time. Roberts. He's not even a real knight. I I heard that he was he was actually knighted by a guy at Burger King. Okay, I don't believe that Daniel Roberts is a real knight at all. You well, understand I, me, Richard? No, I don't understand you. I mean, I was actually there. Shut up, I Richard. was there in person. Time to start the match. Oh. Here we go. Daniel Roberts squaring off with Michael Scar's minor right hand into the face of Roberts. By minor follows it up with a big knee. Minor quickly mounting the top rope. Here comes the elbow, but not going to be able to get his hands on Minor, who comes off the top rope with an elbow into the gut of Daniel Roberts. There's no surprise about this at all, Richard. I knew that Michael Scars Minor would be dominant all throughout this match. He's already pretty much won the match. Daniel Roberts is going to do everything that he can to screw Michael Scars Minor out of what is rightfully his here tonight, the World Heavyweight Championship. <laughs> You know, I, you know, it's real nice that, that you're such a fan of Michael Scars Minor, and I'm not trying to take away anything from Daniel Roberts, but there's a third man in this contest, and he has been the most dominant competitor on Friday Night Rampage for weeks. And I'm talking about the president of the Brotherhood, the one-man army, the envoy of justice, the outlaw. How, how can you possibly call the, the outlaw a dominant competitor on Friday nights didn't he just lose the tag team championships to to Aaron Bronson and and the Alpha Angel the Guardians yeah 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 that was right after he put your little buddy Michael Scars Minor through the side of a steel cage wall do you remember that that's how he qualified for this match and as I recall it was you using your power that put Michael Scars in this contest. That's what true power is, Richard. That's what true power is. And when a friend of mine, like Michael Scars Minor, wants an opportunity at a belt that should already be around his waist, 
I'm going to give it to him. Wonderful move there by Mike Lascaris Minor, putting up the knees into the gut of Daniel Roberts. Aren't you supposed to call the play-by-play, -play, Richard? Here I am, that doing your job once again. Oh, well, allow me, Daniel Roberts making his back to his feet. Shots in midsection on Minor on Outlaw. Michael Scars Minor picking up Roberts, drilling him down onto his knee. Back first, Outlaw coming up from behind Minor with the Bulldog. And now Outlaw turning his attention to Daniel Roberts. Roberts lifting Outlaw up onto the top rope. Outlaw kicking Roberts away and a cannonball right through Daniel Roberts. Courtesy of the Outlaw, Roberts into the ropes. Pop-up powerbomb. That was, I gotta admit, that was a nice looking pop-up powerbomb. But it would have been better if Michael Skies Minor would have done it. Oh Ooh, no! Spine Buster by Michael. the Outlaw. Putting down Michael, Michael Skies Minor. can you Minor. hear me? Do you need some, some smelling salts? Seriously? Oh, thank goodness. He's still in it, Richard. I was a little worried, I have to admit there for a second. But Michael Skies Minor, one of the toughest men in all of professional wrestling. No, I'm oh. going to take that back. In the entire world. Oh my god. I have no doubt that he's going to be victorious here tonight. Daniel Roberts coming up. European uppercut into the face of the outlaw at outlaw. Set over the top rope with a clothesline. Roberts measuring up the one man arm and it was Roberts. He's like a British flying squirrel. Look at him go. Daniel Roberts flying through the air and into the face of the one man army for heading back oh, inside yeah. the ring. Turning his attention to Michael Scars Minor. Oh no, Michael. He's got it. Michael. Daniel Roberts has got Kick it. Out. Two. Oh. oh. Why are you encouraging Daniel Roberts, Richard? Don't you know? That this is Michael Skyers Miner's night. Yes. Now Michael Skyers Miner heading out onto the ring apron and drilling the head of that buffoon Daniel Roberts into the mat. I believe you mean world heavyweight champion Daniel Roberts. Great work by Michael Skyers Miner. Again, close personal friend of mine. And again, that gives you absolutely no benefit inside a wrestling match like this. Outlaw back to his feet and Miner coming around the corner. Cutting off the one-man army. Outlaw being tossed inside the ring. Daniel Roberts still has not moved since that DDT by Michael Scars Minor now just starting to stir. I hope he has a concussion, Richard. Minor with Outlaw into the corner. Wait, there's Daniel Roberts. Roberts sends Minor into the ropes. Minor turning things around. And a back elbow into the face of Roberts. Daniel Roberts has a really big nose. It's a huge target for Michael Scars Minor. He, he can swing wild. He'll hit it every time. Michael Minor lifting the HKW World Heavyweight Champion Daniel Roberts up onto the top. Rope from behind. Here comes the Outlaw. Outlaw trying to follow up on whatever Michael Minor had started. Here comes Daniel Roberts. Whoa, Daniel Roberts! Flipping off the top rope and taking the outlaw down with a Frankensteiner quick kick out by the one man army, the outlaw. Daniel Roberts grabbing a hold of Michael Miner and oh, dropping Miner face first onto the canvas. Daniel Roberts is in control. And looking to retain here tonight in HKW. Never gonna happen. Arts. Never gonna happen, Richard. There we go. Minor 
that big punch into the gut of that stupid British buffoon Daniel Ooh. Roberts. Well, my, and they're missing big no. there. Michael, get up. And now Daniel Roberts has a hold of the outlaw. Tossing the outlaw out to the floor. Roberts off the ropes. Oh, and Roberts like a cannonball into the head of the outlaw out here on the floor. Outlaw tossed back inside the ring. Roberts giving chase. Michael Miner back up to his feet. Drop kick. He's and there's Miner in on the chest. his knee Richard. into the gut of Daniel Roberts. Michael, Michael Miner knows exactly what he's doing. He's closing in on the title. He's got Outlaw exactly where he wants him. Hey, oh, excuse me. Oh, my Christian. Oh, so wait, hey, that's Christian Wright. Christian, what are you doing out here? Oh, Christian attacking Daniel Roberts out here at ringside. What the hell this is, is going insanity. on? This is insanity. Richard, Christian, what are you doing? Nice. Well, hey, that's our table. C Christian Wright has come what out here getting and into you? stripping down our announce table in the middle of this World Heavyweight Championship match. Richard, Richard, look at his shirt. Oh, come on, Christian. Christian, no. Hey, come on, Christian, no. He's your friend. He's your friend. No, don't do it. Oh. Richard, Richard, look at Christian's shirt. He's wearing a TWE shirt. Daniel Roberts in a pile of splitters. Christian. Beelining it for the door and Michael scores minor taking Outlaw off the top turnbuckle all the way down to the floor. This match has gone sideways in the worst way. No, we need this is great. Daniel Roberts. Forget Daniel Roberts. This is everything that we wanted. Everything that we needed, everything the world needed, Richard. No more Daniel Roberts, and that means Michael Scott is minor. He's got Outlaw all alone. Yes, get him. Get him, Michael. All three men are giving it all they had here tonight. But, but Christian Wright coming out here. Taking out Daniel Roberts has devolved this three-way into a one-on-one -on -one contest, Michael Miner. This is the best thing that could have happened. Michael Miner is going to beat the outlaw. You watch, Richard. That's it. Richard. Skies Enterprise cleaning house here tonight. How the hell can you be okay with this? Daniel Roberts just got screwed. The outlaw. Outlaw was expecting a triple threat here tonight. He got screwed. Skies Enterprises has screwed everybody here tonight. No. No, Richard. Skies Enterprises did exactly what they said they were going to do here tonight. They came in and they cleaned house. Every member of Skies Enterprises now holds gold. Just like I knew that they would, like I told you that they would at the beginning of this show. And now I'd like to personally be the first to congratulate the new World Heavyweight Champion and my personal friend, the magnificent Michael Skies Miner. Yeah, I like that, Congra Richard. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, we got more HKW all the way next. I've seen some feet and loose. I've had some people in my life who know just what it do. I try to look for goodness even when I see that. I've seen some souls be friendly, I've seen some feet get loose, I've had some people in my life who know just what it do, I try
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. It is an extreme rules match. Making its way to the ring, representing the disciples of Apocalypse. From St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 220 pounds, the Superstar. We are getting ready to go here tonight. First blood match. Devastation there you see gonna take on the Hellblazer Cameron Logan Line Hunter. I can't wait for this matchup, Richard. It's gonna be fantastic. Anything goes, no disqualification, only one way to win, and that is to make your opponent bleed. It's so simple, Richard, even you can handle it. And personally, I have to say this guy right here, the station has the advantage. Look at this guy. Just look in his eyes. He is a trained killer. Yeah, well, I don't know what that leaves for this young man, then. He is the Hellblazer, the prodigal son, the HKW, Cameron Logan Lion Hunter. You always say it with so much gusto. Why don't you ever say my name like that, Richard? Loser. Cameron Logan Lion Hunter was better at when he was with me, I know. He left to travel the world, made his way all the way to TWE where he would be attacked alongside Daniel Roberts. Nobody cares about Daniel Roberts, and I think he got what he deserved tonight, by, these by the way. TWE superstars, that led him right back home, here, to lead in this war against the invaders from TWE, and that is exactly what he intends to do here tonight, one-on-one -on -one against DOA's devastation in this first blood match. Richard, I swear sometimes it's like you're not even listening to me, like you're not even paying attention to me. Rude. Alright, here we go, and I have to say, I'm, uh, my money on this one is, is going to be behind Cameron Logan Lion Hunter. Now, I don't like Cameron, but at one time he was smart enough to work for me, and if you're smart enough to be a Donald Cash product, then you are always good enough to be a Donald Cash product, if you know what I'm saying. But this devastation, he's TWE, and I am a firm supporter of HKW. You know, there's, there's just this part of me that wonders how much support you would offer HKW if you were a shareholder over in TWE. That's ridiculous. I need to go become a shareholder. I didn't know they were publicly traded. Are you kidding me right now? We're in the middle of a first blood match and you're looking for stocks? Devastation slamming down Cameron Logan Lion Hunter. Which you don't be ridiculous. The market's closed until tomorrow. I'm just getting a base price. And look at Cameron's doing great in there. He doesn't need my encouragement. But I'll give it to him anyway because that's what I do. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a wonderful and giving, happy, helpful person. And I know you've always said so, Richard. You are one of the most annoying people I've ever met, and I frequently hope a piano falls on your head. Cameron Logan Lionhunter kicked to the midsection of Devastation. Diving on Devastation with a Luthes press and going to work with the right hands. These first blood matches, so volatile, so dangerous. Never know what it is going to be that breaks open the skin and causes the blood to start flowing. Cameron Logan, Lion Hunter, heading back up onto the apron. Everything else looking for the crossbody, but devastation rolling out of the way. That was incredible, Richard. 
That was an incredible maneuver, and the part of Cameron would have been even more incredible if he would have actually, you know, connected. And now devastation going underneath the ring and pulling out the hardware. He's got that baseball bat. What's Cameron gonna grab? Oh, we still got more tables from that tables, ladders, and chairs match earlier on tonight. Oh, oh, what about what is still to come later on tonight? As a matter of fact, immediately following this matchup, we're going to head into our main event of the evening. Elimination Chamber match for the vacant HKW Championship doesn't get any bigger than that. I'm sure it could get bigger than that if Michael Scar's minor had been allowed to compete in that matchup, Richard. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's not content being the world heavyweight champion and, and having every member of Scar's Enterprises walk out of broken hearts tonight with gold. Meanwhile, Cameron Logan Linehunter going underneath and the ring and, and, and finding a sledgehammer and going to work here now on Devastation, Devastation answering. Right hand in the face of Cameron Logan. Line hunter gets flung hard in those steel steps. Command Cameron, you can do it. He's first Don't blood lose the TWE. So, ball, so dangerous. Oh, it's so true. You know, I I I fell down on the way out here and, and I, I, I cut my, my knee just a little bit and there was a little bit of blood. That would have been enough. A Cameron Cutter! Huge Cameron Cutter putting down devastation. No blood flowing from devastation yet, however. Now Cameron Logan Line under setting up that, that table out here at ringside. Heading back inside the ring, devastation. Just pissing Cam right off. Yeah, don't do Picking that. Up the table tossing inside the ring. Here comes Cam with a clothesline. You don't want to just make Cameron angry. This is a superstar who who has won countless championships in the HKW and all over the wrestling world. And now this table becoming quite the point of contention. Ripped back and forth nice between the Cameron. Team. Cameron finally kicking it out of the hands of Devastation. And now Cameron, he's got that table set up, turning his attention back towards TWE and DOA member Devastation. Devastation tossed over the top rope, still on the apron. Cameron going to bring him back in the hard way. Neckbreaker taking down devastation Cameron is all over devastation like a honey badger devastation and reversing the Irish with the thing. Cameron Logan line under Cameron trying to toss devastation out of the ring yet again and That's now the Cameron best analogy you'll never get to hear Richard heading out onto the apron has the oh, head of Cameron. devastation DAT nice move and the referee is calling for it. Yeah, I see blood. I see blood. Devastation bleed from the top of his head, and that's going to do it. Stay tuned. We have more HKW Broken Hearts coming up next. Our main event, Elimination Chamber.
As much as I want to talk about the King of the Wasteland Tournament, it is time for our main event of the evening. Corey so Tombstone climbing inside the chamber. Getting ready to enter one of those pods. With the biggest prize in the HKW on the line here tonight. I gotta tell you, Richard, this is Corey Tombstone. I don't like Corey Tombstone, but. But I have to say, he, I think he's my pick to win this matchup here tonight. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll remember Ooh. you said that. Did you just get a chill? Yeah, a little bit. But that could be because of what's about to come down to the ring. He is demented. He is twisted. And we have absolutely no idea... What well, has gotten inside the mind of Xander Shaw? All we can be sure of is that it is pure evil that lurks behind the mask. He is the HKW Internet Champion, Despair! Great, now I am definitely going to be having nightmares tonight. Look at this guy. HKW Internet Champion. He's got giant horns. You know what? Okay, Richard. This is my pick right now. This is my pick to oh, win this, this whole Elimination Chamber match oh. here tonight. This is your pick. The okay. one and only Despair. Yeah, definitely not. I mean, the man fair. behind the mask, he, he, he's, he's done it all here, Richard. That's very true, Zan. That's a good choice. Don't you think I have the best picks? Uh, yeah. Sure. On his way down to the ring is Xander Shaw. Or as he has become known, Despair. This angry and twisted individual so far from the smiling thumbs up giving Xander Shaw that we we all come to know and love how would you like to be that referee having to tell despair that he's got to lock himself inside one of these pods for God knows how long I think I think that Everybody else in this match is just fortunate that Despair is going to be locked inside one of those pads. That he's going to be contained. And there, there's Christian Wright. And we all saw during the World Heavyweight Championship match, Christian come out and attack. His longtime best friend, Daniel Roberts, costing Roberts the World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, yeah but I think that's almost small potatoes, considering that he is wearing a TWE t-shirt. Christian Wright turning his back, not just on Daniel Roberts, but on the entire HKW Nation here tonight. After everything that the HKW has done for, for Christian Wright, now, this makes me sick. No, 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 no. You know what? I think that Christian made a smart choice. As much as you might not like it, it was a smart decision for him to ally himself with people in the Elimination Chamber. And you know what? Christian is my, new, my pick to win this whole thing. Really? Well, before you make a pick like that, you might want to consider the man heading down to the ring next. 
He is the winner of the first ever Elimination Chamber match here in the HKW. That was how he won the, the title to begin an eight month long world title reign. You know, Richard, you make a really good point, and I'm gonna agree with you. My pick to win this whole thing, the Alpha Angel, Ryan Me. Somehow I knew it would be. The Alpha Angel turning over that uh, tag team championship belt. Of course, the Alpha Angel. Tag Team Champions alongside Aaron Air Bronson. Legendary team known as the Guardians. Oh boy. Richard, this isn't good. This is not going to go good. For, for any of the guys in the ring. Look at the size of Blake Buchanan. And now, when, when you think about Blake Buchanan having Christian Wright and Corey Tombstone inside the ring, I mean, the e Fed Elite have only got two guys inside the ring, so, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and call it right now, Blake Buchanan is my pick to win this entire match. Why am I not surprised at all about that? Because you know I can pick a winner. Okay, sure. Well, Blake, you can't take a long look at those pods. Each one filled with a different superstar, and that means there's only one left to head out here to the ring. And that man is the enforcer and a Grand Slam champion here in the HKW. He won the first ever Royal Gauntlet, the first ever King of the Wasteland Tournament. Chris Chaos! Yo. You make a really good point, Richard, talking about all of Chris's accolades, the people he's destroyed, the original, the original King of the Wasteland tournament winner, the, he won the first ever Royal Gauntlet Grand Slam champion, and that is why Christopher Chaos, your pick to win this whole meet thing, right? Yeah. Well, Christopher Chaos stepping inside the Elimination Chamber. It's his third time stepping inside the Devil's Playground. And here tonight, he will not be sealed inside one of those pods. Instead, it'll be Chaos starting things off with Blake Buchanan here tonight every three minutes. Another pod will open. And another person will have the chance to enter this contest. They start things off wild already. Of course, you will lose this if you're pinned or you're submitted. Last person inside the chamber would be the World Heavyweight Champion. Did I get it all right, Richard? You absolutely did, Mr. Cash. And Blake Buchanan starting things off. Taking Christopher Chaos off of his shoulder and drilling Chaos down to the canvas. Chaos can be brought back up to his feet. Buchanan trying to sweep the leg, but instead Chaos avoiding the contact drop toe hold by Christopher Chaos. Puts Blake Buchanan over that middle rope. And here goes Chaos hanging him out to dry. Hey Richard, what do you think that the guys that are inside the pods are thinking about right now? Because if it was me, all I could, I think all I'd be able to think about is how fantastic the World Heavyweight title looks around the waist of Michael Scarsminer. 
I'd be thinking Again. about it's how much this might hurt. That. Oh, wait. Oh! oh! Elite ending by Christopher Chaos could bring a quick end to this match for Blake Buchanan. Buchanan powers out at two. Christopher Chaos going low with the chop block. He is all over Blake Buchanan and has him alone for the first three minutes of this contest. You got to think about too, Richard, just what kind of factors could come into play with, with which pod opens when. I mean, if if the Alpha Angels pod opens now, it would be a it would be devastating to Blake Buchanan, whereas if Corey Tombstone's pod opens, it'll be just as devastating to Christopher Chaos. Very true. The the lines, E. Fetty Lee, HKW, and TWE, well, they seemed much, much more clearly drawn earlier uh, in the week before Christian Wright joined TWE, turning his back on every single one of us. Christopher Chaos powering out of the pinfall attempt at two. You, you know what, Richard? I, I've been thinking about it. And I, I think I know why Christian would go and join TWE. Oh yeah, and why is that? Well, because think about it. Christian has been here with his buddy Daniel Roberts this whole time. Daniel Roberts was the world heavyweight champion. How many title shots did he give his little friend Christian? Oh, pod doors opening, and here comes Christian. And Christian immediately going to get spun inside and out by Christopher Chaos. The e fed Elite letting it be known exactly what side of the line they stand on, and that is the side that is 100% HKW. Does it matter, Richard? It's all about a numbers game, and look at this numbers game. Christian and Blake Buchanan, that's two TWE guys. There's only one Christopher Chaos, and there is no way that he can hold up to the attacks that these two are going to put forth. Uh, that is definitely an opinion, but not one that I share, and considering that... Uh, that chaos has been more or less in control ever since entering. Oh! Slap to the face of Christian Wright from Blake Buchanan. TWE. I guess they have a bit of a different way of uh, doing things there. Everybody Blake has Buchanan giving a chase to Christopher Chaos. Chaos tosses Buchanan. That's the end of that crowd. What's Chaos doing? You. Oh! Christopher Chaos, he, I th he might have just killed Blake Buchanan, putting him through that that pod, that, that it's inch thick bulletproof glass, Richard. And Blake Buchanan just went flying through it. Christian right now giving aid to his new TWE cohort and Blake Buchanan. Checking on Blake, making sure that he is okay. And bringing him back inside the ring. I guess Christian uh, understands this way of TW thinking as well. Meanwhile, Christopher Chaos, Irish Whip sending Christian into the corner. Blake Buchanan trying to make his way back up to his feet. You know, Christopher Chaos coming in from behind with the clothesline. Chaos taking it to everyone. That right there, Richard, that is why Christopher Chaos, I told you at the beginning of this match, is my pick to win the whole match, to win the whole thing. Like Buchanan with the drop kick, now looking for the cover. One, two, and Christopher Chaos. Getting the shoulder up at two. 
Meanwhile, the countdown continues to tick, and who will be coming out next? It's Despair! Despair entering this contest and instantly squaring off with Blake Buchanan. Despair is so intimidating inside the ring. He, he looks like an absolute monster. He's definitely going to win this, Richard. It's like I've said, Despair will not be beaten tonight. This is definitely his night. And he's definitely walking out of here as the new H. KW Champion, you heard it here first, Richard. Only two men still sealed inside their pods. They, of course, are Corey Tombstone and the Alpha Angel, Brian Mead. Chaos looking to take out uh, Despair, but Corey, excuse me, Blake Buchanan. With other ideas, Buchanan elbow into the face of Christopher Chaos. And Chaos, bear hug, wrapped around the body of Buchanan. Christian Wright tossing despair out of the ring and onto that steel platform. There is no gift on the outside of the ring, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't matter. There's nowhere in this ring that you aren't going to feel physical pain if one of those men get their hands on you. Each one of these guys is a top caliber athlete. Oh! Christian Wright jamming despair into the side of that plexiglass. Blake Buchanan having his way with Christopher Chaos inside the ring. And now Buchanan doing a little bit of uh, directing traffic here as he tells Christian to go after despair Christopher Chaos and now Christopher Chaos going to tango with despair despair taking shots to the gut courtesy of Christopher Chaos oh despair Despair putting the brakes on Chaos. No, Blake Buchanan is. There's so many moving parts in this matchup, Richard. There's so many different people, so many different ways this could go. Oh no, Buchanan's got Despair locked in that chokehold. Despair just barely able to escape. Yeah, but now the clock is ticking down yet again. We're going to get another competitor into the ring. And this time, who is it going to be? Let's see Alpha Angel. The chaos is down. Oh, my God. Christian Wright put down Chris Chaos and walks into a broken rings. The Alpha Angel, none too happy, I'm sure, that his best friend and elite tag team partner, Christopher Chaos, was just taken out by Christian. Meanwhile, Despair and Blake Buchanan doing battle this inside is, the ring. This is absolute insanity, Richard. This is incredible. I've never seen a matchup quite like what we're seeing here tonight every one of these guys is a top talent I can't believe that Christian Wright managed to take out Christopher Chaos that's incredible that's gotta be the, this has gotta be the biggest night of Christian's entire career and now look at him going after the Alpha Angel as well meanwhile Despair and Blake Buchanan Doing battle in the corner is a cover on Angel. Look at the leg. One, two, and Angel kicks out. Extremely close back and forth battle all over this chamber. 
here tonight in our despair as Blake Buchanan up and drills him down face first. There's only one pod left to open that belonging to Corey Tombstone. Richard, this isn't what you want to hear either, but but despair and the Alpha Angel, that's two. TWS, three guys inside the chamber. This isn't looking good for HKW at this moment. No, but that exploded suplex sure was despair dropping Corey or excuse me, Blake Buchanan with an exploder suplex. Corey Tombstone can do nothing but look on. Angel and, and Christian Wright battling their way back inside the chamber. Christian Irish whip into the corner. Here comes the Alpha Angel. What's he got planned? Christian up onto the shoulders of the Alpha Angel. Brian Mead, one winged angel. One winged angel putting down Christian right. And again, Christian. Somehow staying alive in this contest. Into the ring comes Corey Tombstone. All pods are now open. Blake Buchanan attacked from behind by Despair. Despair off the knee of Buchanan and a shining wizard. Angel is marking up at Christian. Oh! And Blake Buchanan. Being pinned to the mat just as the Alpha Angel puts Christian through another one of those pods. My God. Despair just tied it all up for HKW. It's two apiece now. Cover. Cover on Christian. Right one. Two. No. Despair. German suplexes all around a Corey Tombstone holding on to the waist and a hat trick of them puts down the leader of Team TWE Corey Tombstone Despair elbow into the face of Tombstone Tombstone turning things around Despair again Despair unrelenting in this attack on Corey Tombstone, we've seen these two going at it for weeks. Christian launching the Alpha Angel into the side of the chamber wall. Four men in the ring, only one of them can walk away as the HKW champion two count on despair for the Alpha Angel, Brian Mead. That was so close. So close, Richard. I'm telling you right now, that's why the Alpha Angel has been my pick to win this whole thing from the beginning. Corey Tombstone tossed up onto the shoulders of the Alpha Angel. One winged angel to Corey Tombstone. Christian Wright grabbing a hold of Angel. And can you believe it? Chris is the only man standing. Tombstone back to his feet. Kick to the gutter. Christian right. Arms are hooked. Broken wings. That's going to do it. One, two, three. Christian is out. HKW back in control. That's an excellent point, Mr. Cash. For the first time in this contest, HKW has taken the lead. Corey Tombstone driving the shoulder into the gut of the Alpha Angel, Brian Mead. Turning his attention to despair now. Despair looking for the clothesline. Comes up short. Angel's back to his feet and he's coming to help despair. It might not be enough, Richard. This, this Corey Tombstone is just such a tough guy, but Angel 
just dropped them both. What a clothesline. Now the one of these men is going to give an inch here tonight, Cash. This is for all the marbles. The HKW Championship. It is our main event. It is Broken Hearts. Corey Tombstone up on the shoulders of the Alpha Angel. Brian Mead, and there he's got it. A second one-winged angel to Corey Tombstone. Despair from behind German suplex. That was incredible by Despair. Amazing ring awareness. The kind of ring awareness that Despair brings is my reason why he has been my pick to win this whole thing right from the beginning. And now Despair turning his attention to Corey Tombstone getting blocked by the Alpha Angel. Gotta believe, Mr. Cash, that stamina is coming into play as well. As we get further and further into this contest. Corey Tombstone off the ropes and catches a drop kick courtesy of Despair. Despair, kick to the midsection on Corey Tombstone, has him up on his shoulder and brings him down with that twisting neck breaker. And an angel breaking up the pinfall. Angel, what the hell has gotten into the Alpha Angel Brian Mead. I think you know, Richard. It's real simple. Everybody wants to be a hero. Everybody wants their time in the sun. And the Alpha Angel, he's got an ego the size of Montana. This is a man who won't put up with letting despair get the pinfall on Cody Tombstone. He has to have it for himself. Yeah, I... Yeah, I hate to agree with you, but that, that that seems to make the most sense as Despair and Corey Tombstone continue to do battle here. A battle that has spilled over from Prestige to Rampage, and now here tonight, HKW Broken Hearts. Alpha Angel. Kick to the gut on Despair. Broken wings. A broken wings to Despair. There's a cover one, two, and Despair kicks out. Corey Tombstone now looking for a cover on Despair again. Despair getting the shoulder up at two. Who would have known that a name change and a mask would make Xander Shaw so resilient? Absolutely amazing the job that Xander has been doing inside this ring tonight. All of these men have been putting on a clinic and what it means to be an amazing professional wrestler. But from where I'm sitting right now, I have to say, the Alpha Angel Brian Mead, my pick to win this whole thing and walk out of here tonight as the new HKW champion. Core Tombstone trying to get back to his feet. Angel hooking the arms of Despair. Broken wings! Another broken wings for Despair too. That's going to do it. We are down to two. Corey Tombstone. The Alpha Angel Brian Mead. One of these two men are going to walk out of here tonight as the HKW Champion. Tombstone bringing Angel back to his feet. Angel reverses the uh, the Irish whip. Give it up, Rich. Tossing Tombstone into the corner. Tombstone is too powerful for the Alpha Angel to deal with. Oh, and now the Alpha Angel locked into that Inverted figure four. Angel's gonna have to watch out. Corey Tombstone, an excellent submission artist. That is an excellent point. Angel giving up a lot of uh, a lot of muscle mass, a couple inches. All to all to Corey Tombstone. 
and where normally that that technical prowess of the Alta Angel would would be his linchpin in matches like this. I can't say that'll be the case here tonight against Tombstone. Tombstone kick to the midsection on the Alta Angel. Elbow to the back of the head. Angel turning things around, tosses Tombstone into the corner. And now the Alta Angel has Tombstone up for a third time. One winged angel. The Alpha Angel Brian Mead hitting that one winged angel on Corey Tombstone. Tombstone reversal. An angel lands hard on the steel. What do you have to do if you're the Alpha Angel Brian Mead? He's given this everything he has. He's hit Corey Tombstone with three one-winged angels and nothing has been able to put this man down tombstone locking back in the submission now angel with everything he has able to reverse it yet again angel has escaped that submission hold of tombstones twice it was, it's been three times that Tombstone has gotten away from the Alta Angels. One winged angel. Corey Tombstone. Oh! Northern Lights drops the Alta Angel. Referee is down. One, two, three. The Alta Angel. No! Alta Angel. Brian Mead kicking out. The Alta Angel taking advantage of having the referee not be as cognizant as he should have been. And and you know what? Good play to the Alta Angel, Brian Mead. Oh! Corey Tombstone lifting Angel back up. Angel! Angel! Shot to the midsection! And a back over to Corey. Corey turning things around. Tosses Angel into the corner. Oh no. And now Corey Tombstone. Just beating the holy hell out of the Alpha Angel Brian Mead. One man from TWE. One man from HKW remain. And now Corey Tombstone locking that submission on yet again. Angel writhing in pain. And Angel taps out. Angel's tapping out. That is it. Holy shit, Richard. Did you, did you see that? I, oh my I God. can't believe this. I, it's just now hitting me. What's just happened? He did it. Corey Tombstone just captured the HKW title. They said they were coming in here to invade and they have done exactly that, Richard. You never believed in them. You didn't think they could do it. But I told you earlier tonight, Corey Tombstone was my pick to win tonight. And this is exactly why. This is all your fault, Richard. I, I have nothing to do with it. I wasn't in this match. Nevertheless, TWE now controls the HKW Championship. What does this mean? We will find out this Wednesday on Prestige. Until then, I've been Richard G. Mayer alongside Donald Cash. Good night, everybody.